Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful twist super do fine bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I did earrings matching this bracelet and I'll link to them here at the eye icon and you could also help me by liking sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is and down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and amazon links where you could buy those supplies from if you don't have uh, these beads and these super dues, you could find them there okay and now guys i'm going to start with the list of the material hey guys so what i'm using for this video are two colors of 11 of seed beads here i use this beautiful twin or super duo beads uh, there could be different brand but they look the same and here i use a clasp this is old gold color this is lobster's claw clasp you could use other type if you want and here i use monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers uh, to attach my jump ring and to go through the difficult beads they are not obligatory okay and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back okay guys and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up four of these beautiful white beads and I'm going to slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and now I have four beads in a cross okay and then I'm going here in my next white bead and pull now I'm going to take one golden, go here through this white, one more golden, go here, and I will do this two more times. Okay, and I'm going here in this golden bead. And in my next step, I'm going to take two goldens, one super duo bead or twin bead, and go here in the next golden. Okay, then again, I'm taking two goldens, one red to hold bead and go in the next golden okay and again two goldens one red go here two goldens one red go here in this one Okay, I have this then I'm going in the next two golden beads like that take two goldens go here in the empty outer hole of this twin bead or super dough bead whatever you have and now what I need to take is one red bead to hold red bead and go here then take two golden beads go in the empty hole 
then again one twin bead go here in this golden two goldens go in the empty hole one super do go here in the golden bead two goldens go here one super do go here in the same place in the third golden counting from the center okay now guys what i want to do is go through these two golden beads then through these two super do beads and as i'm exiting from its inner hole of this super do i want to go through the outer hole empty hole of this super do okay and as i'm exiting from this hole what i want to do is attach my clasp and in order to do this i'm taking two seed beads then i'm taking my clasp and then two more golden seed beads this is what i take on my needle and then i will go back in circle through this same hole here and now guys this is what i have and what I do next is that I reinforce this joint here. By the way, uh, I took a longer thread than I need because I like to reinforce. I'm reinforcing this work here also by going around it. and now i'm going back in my element from this hole then back through the other hole and i'm going to find the place to make a knot i will go around in circle okay let's say i want to make a knot here and cut my thread okay i'm here between those two golden beads and I have a loop here and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I make sure I'm between those two golden beads where I started my knot from and I pull then guys go through some beads you could repeat this knot several times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread never cut next to a knot okay now guys what i'm going to do is make another element like this and i'll be back to tell you how to continue your bracelet okay guys and i just did another element just the same way i showed you before and i will go out here through this super do bit and i want to connect those two elements together i will connect these two outer holes of my super dos like this and in order to do this i will take one golden bead and i will go here in the super do of my neighbor element and I pull okay now you see those two are connected by one golden bead and I will take one more and go back in circle in the same hole and you see when I pull I have a loop with two beads in it connecting my elements okay then guys I will make some reinforcement here
now I have this and here guys what I'm doing is that I'm making an additional knot the same way I showed you before make a loop go once go second time through this loop pull and now go through the following see it and then cut your thread okay and now guys i'm going to continue adding more and more elements and when i have a bracelet with eight elements you could do more or less of course i'll be back to tell you how to finish it okay guys and as i continue beading this is what i have i have eight elements here and what i'm going to do after that is go here through all of those beads in this element reach the other part and attach my jump ring okay and in order to do this i'm going through those beads here And now I'm exiting here at this end of my bracelet and the final step is to attach my jump ring. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm going to take five of these beautiful beads and I'm going to take my jump ring and I will make here a loop. By the way, you could make a loop without adding the jump ring and add it later with your pliers but if you don't have pliers this is an option okay and now i reinforced my work and in my next step, I'm going here through some beads in this direction. And I want to find a place to make a knot. Okay, I will make a knot, let's say here. And I'm making it the same way making here a loop between my beads going twice through this loop then going in the following bead and then cutting my thread as close as possible to my work okay guys and now my bracelet is ready